Well, getting really close. Uh, just got the truck back from the paint shop. I think it turned out really, really well. It's got a, uh, a gold and orange metallic pearl behind the red base in the sun. It really shines. It's such a pretty color. Still have to put the bed in, but I got the interior pretty much done or pretty close to it. I do have new door panels I've gotten for it. Uh, they haven't come in yet, but these are the ones I made. Still need the bed in it. Move the gas tank over to the side and moved it up so we can uh, put the uh, gas filler in through the wood bed. There's a, uh, there are strips, stainless steel polished strips that go down here. There's one right down the middle and you can't uh, put the filler cap uh, down the middle because of it. So it has to be offset a little bit. Got those installed as well. Getting close, getting close. The engine. Again, 454. Got the heads refinished, it's resurfaced. Of course, it's got a new cam, new valves, new lifters. Transmission rebuilt, carburetor rebuilt. The air conditioner is installed, but it's not hooked up. Uh, actually, well, it, it still needs the uh, condenser put on. Uh, the new mirrors, so much prettier than the old ones. They look great. I have new crimp, uh, chrome trim pieces. My old ones were a little dented uh, from the clips there I wasn't it was a new install for me on these clips and if you don't do them just right you can bend the chrome strips with the uh, the clips themselves they push up against it and will indent the chrome strip itself if you don't do it real careful so I ordered a new set uh, just to make sure they're nice and pretty and don't have any dents in them hopefully they'll be in soon but getting close should be up for sale here hopefully in another 30 days or so get the bed and everything done get things tightened up i do need to get some supports these are this rear end uh, for weight savings is fiberglass which means this stuff is fiberglass and it needs a support so i want to get some uh, a bar welded in here and then it'll be drilled into here into that bar so we'll have a support i'm going to get that done as well but and she drives like a dream now cool over suspension again with the uh ladder bars they really keep that rear end down of course we got nitrous arming system for the nitrous for the purge and for the uh, fuel pump that mixes the nitrous and the fuel together. This is the nitrous button. This is the trans lock button. And uh, this opens the, this is the purge for the nitrous. This opens the headers up so it'll dump the exhaust straight out the headers instead of through the mufflers gain another I don't know five or ten percent horsepower something like that looking good uh, I'll see you again probably once the wood bed kit is in and uh, we'll do one or two last follow-up videos to show the completion but uh, she really is turning out pretty and boy that paint it's a, again, it's a, it's a red, 
I like to, uh, it didn't have a name, it just had a number. So I tried to come up with a, a name for it and I want to call it Red Sky at Night. I mean, it's it's got that red in it, but it's also got that gold and pearl metallic that really, man, how you're looking at it, you can see the gold. It looks kind of gold and green in the sun. It's beautiful. Don't think you'll see another one, anything like it anywhere in the world. Gorgeous. See on the flip side.